Hello, hello, hello. Hey, everyone. Hi, everybody. So, welcome to our 45 Days, Days of, of Live. Oh, my goodness. So, as you guys are coming in, let us know if you're on YouTube, if you're on Facebook, if you're on Twitch. We'd love to know where you are coming from. And welcome to our live. We are here. Uh, my name is Ken. If you don't know who you know, this is Sean. Hello. Ryan is monitoring comments off screen, and we are all here. I'm going to share to a few groups mm -hmm. just to let everyone know we are live. We are making a very fun project today um, that we'll go over in just a second. While I'm sharing to some of uh, my team and other places, I will let you guys know um, kind of Twitch. We've been getting a lot of questions on Twitch. So I'm going to let Sean take over and talk about the questions we've been getting and Ryan can answer them. Okay. So Twitch is another one of those great uh, uh, streaming platforms. It was originally designed for gaming, but it got more and more popular with other types of things like what we're doing. And then uh, one of the great things that we did when we found out about it is that the video quality is superior than YouTube and Facebook. So if you'd like to pop on over, I'm going to have Ryan um, pop in the link on how to get there, and you will love it. You can view us without having being a subscriber, but if you want to be a, a subscriber, you can. You can also become a subscriber for free if you're an Amazon Prime person, and I'm going to have Ryan explain a little more. Go ahead. Okay. You can talk. You can, they can hear okay, me. Okay, So, um, a lot of you guys already have been on Twitch Prime, of course. You mm -hmm. guys have some questions. Um, I'm going to be putting the links down below of how to turn your Amazon Prime, uh, basically create a Twitch Prime account, which is totally free if you have Amazon Prime. I'll send the link to that, as well as I'll send the link as well how to subscribe to us for free so it supports us. You guys will get some cool custom stuff that we are creating for you guys, and we got a lot of cool stuff, as well as you guys will get a whole bunch of free movies and stuff as well from Twitch. Sweet. And then you said you guys had some questions that you've gotten before? Um, one was that some people were having a hard time trying to a way to do that so that's a good way okay. um what else was there i don't they were mostly um, coming from you yesterday yeah. so um and you kept on saying i'll have to ask uh ryan it was mostly or... that it was mostly that trying to figure out how to become a, a subscriber or can you do it without having to pay becoming a subscribed person yes you can watch it without being subscribed you can even follow or you don't even have to do that can you comment if you're a non-subscribed person yes on in the public chat yes but you do have to create a twitch account to talk so at least you can still create a twitch account without having to pay anything yeah, and not you don't even need twitch prime for that that's just totally free and then yeah you can comment out there but then others there's going to be other stuff that you won't be able to do that some people can do there you go there you go so there, there you go. go thanks guys everybody. all right guys so welcome to our channel mm -hmm. uh we are on like i said facebook youtube twitch ryan is monitoring all the comments um just heads up ryan i forgot to tell you restream yesterday was having issues and we had to keep refreshing the chat so if your chat yeah. goes quiet that's yeah. why yeah. um so uh the whole twitch thing is basically something new for us we are trying to uh get chalk tour where it's not being seen we know a lot of people do it on facebook and youtube twitch is kind of new for the arts and crafts community but i will say one of the happy side effects of twitch is the quality is pristine i've had so many of you reach out to me that said oh my goodness i finally opened a twitch account and the quality is so much better and i you can actually see details so and the lag is way less yes. we actually had seven seconds lag and that's yeah, much that's better cool. than everybody else so we are back from our 45 days of live mm -hmm. if you missed yesterday we did a pretty long live because we switched over our house to Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Um, we're leaving Wednesday to go to Canada. Mm -hmm. So if you are in the um, Ontario, specifically London area, we're going to be there from the 7th to the 11th. We're meeting our team up there. Um, one of my leaders named Isabel is up there and she's hosting a lot of events. So if you're on our team, uh, definitely look to our team page for all of that. But if you're just a fan of Ken's Creations or a designer that wants to meet us, we would love to meet up with you guys. Like mm -hmm. I said, we will be there the 7th through the 11th and just reach out to us and we'll figure it out. And I would love to meet people. I would think it would be super awesome. Yes. Um, all right, so let's take a look at kind of the three different ways you can experience Chakotor. I always like to address this right in the beginning. That way, if you have questions, we can explain it throughout the rest yeah. of the broadcast. Probably the number one um, question I get about is, how do I join Chakotor and why would I? So to join Chakotor, you would buy a starter kit. 
is starter kit is $99 and our current starter kit uh, right now is uh, there we go Sean thank you it is five different uh, paste colors seven chalk transfers you get a catalog and apron surfaces it's $240 worth of value now what this means is of course for $99 you will now be a designer and one of the great things about a designer is the fact that you will get anywhere between 40 to 60 percent off catalog prices so any retail value we get 40 to 60 percent off depending on how much volume you bring in you also have the ability to make um, income on your team you can build a team you're part of the chocolate tour community you get to go to all the fun events like leadership and convention so um, we would love to be your leader if you've been thinking about becoming a designer uh, definitely reach out to me if you're not sure you want to be a designer take a look at our opportunity group this is a brand new Facebook group specifically for customers mm -hmm. these are definitely I, I'm not able to add designers even my own team in there but I go over all of the common asked questions I go over all the benefits of joining all the requirements so that way um, you can kind of read it and come to me with questions after the fact um, the second way you can experience Chalk Couture is uh, Club Couture. This is essentially what I call Happy Meal every single month. Why? Because for $19.99, you are going to get an exclusive B-size transfer, three piece singles, a tutorial on YouTube, a PDF tutorial, and a live with me and Sean on showing you how to create this month's project. Now, this is an exclusive transfer mm -hmm. just for Club Couture members and designers and this month's transfer is awesome yeah now this month's uh, transfer is called oh what fun oh what fun so if you decide to be a club couture member this month this is an add-on so when you go in and use my link down below to become a club couture member it will say will you like to add on to the oh what fun and you'll say yes it will also give you the option to add what's called our kickstarter kit the Kickstarter kit is $69.99. This gives you everything you're gonna need to complete projects every single month. So you're getting one of our nice Aiden boards, you are getting a board and base, two board erasers, Chalkology piece, a single uh, a squeegee, everything you need. Now, Club Couture, like I said, is $19.99 a month for US, $26.99 for Canadian customers. It is a three month commitment. So if mm -hmm. you were to join today, you would be committing for December, January, and February. Um, and then at that time, you can go month to month. Other benefits is you get added to our exclusive Facebook group where we give a very generous discount once a month. We also give away all the projects we create around that month's transfer. And once again, this is exclusive transfer. You can't get it anywhere else. Now, yeah. of course, the last way, of course, you can just shop directly from our site, chalkcouture.com forward slash Ken's Creations. That's where you can get all of your chalk couture needs, like your chalkology page, chalk transfer, supplies, everything you need. Um, use that link. And if you use that link, it supports us, and we really appreciate that. Mm -hmm. All right. So you can go ahead. There we go. Let's show you while they're talking over here. We went live yesterday, made some Thanksgiving decorations. So I'll quickly show you here. Um, we made our pumpkin pie. Now, our whole... Um, uh, theme is teal, orange, and oh, white. Right. So everything is based around teal, orange, white. So we made the pumpkin pie. Sadly, mm. that transfer is retired, guys. So I don't have that. Um, but it was something that I make every year. We also made, based around those color, the gratitude turns what we have into enough. Wow. I love this one because it's got a beautiful ombre going from orange to teal. We also made these two boards. With the teal theme we have this one that's grateful hearts gather here and we also have this one that says family is not important thing it is everything now on here i do want to go to the this camera here i had a lot of people say oh my gosh you're just redoing it on another surface and if i bring it up really close you can see underneath there there is a little bit still showing of the witch's hat and stuff but from far away it's so busy you're not seeing that just like here this actually has show you in this corner spooky you can see right there but once again farther away you can't even see that we redid and it almost, it almost gives you that the repurposed look you know it does. sometimes you will get a piece of thing and if you didn't sand it oh well you get it behind there yeah mr ryan has something for us all right yes so i don't know how to say this name because it's a twitch name it's it's it's, uh, it's a ph so it's an f yeah f f uh fulgum 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 asked if we are designer uh we do not get the chalk packets, question mark. So they're talking about our Club Couture program. 
So if we're, if you're a chalk couture designer, one of the things is we get that transfer every mm -hmm. month. So yep. I already have, it yeah, was we somewhere it. here, here it is. So as a designer, we get this transfer. I got mine today. I'll bring it down here. We get this every single month, but we just get the transfer. We do not get the pay singles. No. Pay singles are only for Club Couture customers. Mm -hmm. The reason why is, is the designer, usually we already have all of the pace. We don't need the pay singles. Um, so our monthly fee as a designer, we do get charged a monthly fee of $19.99. $14.99 of that is this transfer that we get. This mm. way we get the transfer before our Club Couture customers so we can show it off, promote it, everything like that. Our other $5 goes to website fees. Yep. Because of that, we don't get the three pay singles. But once again, if you're a designer, you probably already have that paste. So. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, so today, guys, let's talk about what we're doing. So as any of you may or may not know, I may allegedly could be, potentially, might be addicted to Ray Dunn. Maybe. 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 Just a test. Just a scotch. Just a scotch. And I was lucky enough that one of my friends out in the wild found me this blessed Ray Dunn buffalo plaid blanket. I'm obsessed Sherpa. with it. It's Sherpa on the other side. You are correct. Um, but I want pillows to match it. We actually don't have... Oh, you're on camera. Camera is fine. <laughs> um, we don't have any Thanksgiving pillows. So I want to make two pillows uh, based kind of around this design. Well, what's nice is but the nice okay, is we nice. have a transfer set that is called, and I have it down in the links, Thankful Blessed Script. And it's not an exact, obviously, let's look at it. Not exact, blessed in this blessed, but it's pretty close, thankful, pretty close. So we're gonna make pillows using um, these two. And our buffalo plaid transfer. Mm -hmm. So we are going to be working with ink today. And I'm going to put this off to the side so we don't get that all messy. And Sean, why don't you explain to everyone that you got your cast today so they yes. know you are in a cast and tell them about the sling. So I got a cast today because I can do this. They did not have to put one up here. If you can't do this, then they put one up there. Um, chose black because hopefully we will be able to chalk on this. It's going to be interesting because it's not a super smooth surface, but it might be fun Try to do it and see what happens. Um, I am not wearing a sling because the doctor says the slings are stupid. <laughs> Believe it or not, he says that there's no reason for it. He says this does nothing. He says do this or do this. If you feel like you're having that pressure, just do this while you're watching TV or driving or do this and you're fine. Um, if it doesn't hurt, go ahead and just put it in any natural form. And they said, he said, that's Did totally fine. Did he really say they were stupid? He said, he he say say he says, slings are, slings are meant for other things, but just for what I have, he says, it's not, it, there's no reason so for me So we don't know one. for a fact that he said they are stupid. Stupid. Yeah, he did. Did he say yes, he this? Did. I feel like he did. Well, he was a PA. He wasn't really a doctor, doctor, but. You're cracking me. But he was a much older PA, so he's been around Whoa. for quite a while. Hey, so we I'm don't sure. need to. There was no, there's no shame in no. I was expecting someone young, but he was an older guy, and he, wow. was, he was really nice. He was wow. really, really nice. All right, so we're going to start by taking out our pillows. Now, I am using the Canvas Square pillow. These are a two pack and they are 17 and a half by 17. They will come out kind of wrinkly, so we are gonna press those real mm -hmm. quick. And if you guys do have questions, make sure they're in caps for Mr. Ryan so he can see them. He is monitoring all of the different websites, so he has a lot. Yeah, a lot going to read. On. So we are gonna be pressing using our Cricut Easy Press. Um, I do have a logo on here. Why do I have a logo on there, Sean? Because I didn't uh, put the extra piece of paper underneath the tote because I did double sided. If I did single, it would have been fine, but because I flipped it over to do the other side, it bled all the way through. <laughs> wah, wah. Wah, wah, wah. And so now too, we get and, a and logo. It's, and it's too bad that it is backwards because it's... It would have been perfect. It would have been perfect. Been, we could have lied and said, oh, we were totally doing that. It's all we about branding. Yes. All right. So it's up to you whether you want to use parchment paper just to get the wrinkles out. However, sometimes when I don't use it, unfortunately, I will get, um, you can burn canvas. It's, yes, it can get a little brown. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to just spray uh, spritz a little bit of water. Ooh, I got stuff all over that I'm going to clean. 
And this does Thank have you, distilled water in it. Yes, distilled water because you need to make sure there's nothing in your water that can, that you don't want to clog up that little itty bitty tiny hole that's in there. What are you the, laughing about? So, uh, please say. They were say, so. So who? Durham Designs was saying, "I love your personalized Easy Press mat." <laughs> They're all just talking about it because it, it just catches up to where you guys said it now. Yeah. So. Yeah. So you like how Sean did that for I me? Did he that was thinking like... branding. Uh -huh. So and what was so funny is if you go look at my baby Easy Press mat, it says bold across it. <laughs> and so, I didn't do that one. No, I did that one, and Sean was like, "Remember what they said? It will bleed, bleed up through when we turn it around." So he even remembers saying, "Remember what they said," but he does not remember um, I that. Just, I completely forgot that was under there. And then they're obviously congratulating me about. A lot of them were asking for my tournament. Oh. Did you guys say something on stream? Yeah, we yeah, said you, you were, were here, on, here. For on Friday. You had a ten thousand uh -huh. dollar attempt. Uh, the thing people want to know: it's a ten thousand dollars, but it's split between you it's know first, second, third. Yeah, it's so what does that mean? So prize pool is first place will take home usually fifty percent of that. So if it's a ten thousand tournament dollar tournament, first place takes home five thousand dollars. Second place takes home two thousand five hundred. Third place takes home fifteen hundred. But they decided to give the first place ten thousand regardless, anyways, which was crazy. 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 But you made a little money off of it. Yep. Which was nice. What? Are you trying uh, to remember? Thinking it through, thinking the comment there. Someone has the exact same name as Michaela's mom, and I, uh, and I was like, wait, I, I was seeing if it was her. Uh, you're cracking me up. All right, there you go, Shani. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty good. Now, we do want to put an ink mat inside. I sadly, um, threw away these. So, and we don't want to really over layer. So what I'm going to do um, is pray that it does not go through <laughs> because it is a thicker canvas. We should be good. Um, normally you do want an ink mat in there, but mine got, I'm not going to say who threw it away. What are you doing? You did. I went to go. Yes, not. you did. I would have never thrown you away chocolate. You folded before. it because it had ripples in it and you didn't like that. It had. I don't dense. remember this. This, I is, I, this allegedly happened. Mm. Mm-hmm. All right, can you zoom out just a little? I will, yes. So we are gonna put this on our, um, and we wanna make sure this, now we are using black ink. Now I'm mm. gonna tell you guys, black ink is very, very touchy. Yes. <laughs> um, it bleeds a lot, um, and, I, and it just, it, it's not, I think the ink itself is just, cause it's so, a lot of people just struggle with black ink, myself included. So when you do buffalo plaid, and I always say this, our buffalo plaid, yes, it looks perfect. However, um, distressing with buffalo plaid is not a bad look. So just keep that in mind. What I'm doing right now is using this to try to get any of the ripples and wrinkles out of it. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with bless. And we want to make this almost as much into the center as we can. I'm going to say right about there. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to grab my tape. And what am I doing right now, Sean? We're going to be blocking out the bless. The, the, this itself is blocked out. And then this will be blocked out as well. Yeah, so I want to make a square. Um, an uneven square. So my transfer is cut a little wonky and that's kind of what I want. Um, so the ink technically will not go through this because we want to put blessed and then I'm going to be putting a little border around that. So really all we're doing is creating this nice border here. You didn't overlap there, oh, so just, you, just in case. And just like that. And then I'm also going to be putting it around here and this is so it doesn't accidentally seep under there. So it gives it a nice seal. And this gives us a nice area too to put our border that I'm going to be using. So we'll put it down to here. So anytime you want to mask something, this is an easy way to do it. And use your buffalo plaid to your advantage. So if I'm going to go all the way over to this buffalo plaid, the lines, it's 
It makes it nice and easy. I'm gonna grab some scissors and make sure we have a nice even edge here. this one was just a smidge off and this tape is especially if you're a designer it's not expensive I want to say retail it's $2.99 any questions or any comments that or are um, they just partying with themselves there? Partying. Uh, one person did say what's... I'm trying to find where it was. Because... Oh, yeah. Brenda Stern said they just put a whole bunch of money into their esports at uh, my twins' university. They built a big arena, and then she just wished me luck. Which wow. is I had never heard of this esports. When Ryan got a job, and I was like, he's working in a place that does video games. But then I started researching it, especially on YouTube. And, like, it's a big deal. Like, they have, like, Huge. tournaments that are, like, with referees. And it's all broadcast live. And it's, like... It's crazy. There was one event in, I want to say, Japan that was bigger than the Super Bowl. It had more viewers than the Super Bowl for a video game. And I was like, that's... That's crazy. That's nuts. All right, I am going to use the hot setting. There's a part here where it's just not adhering to my fabric. So I'm just going to use that. That would be... You know what I could do? Actually, I will use my... Um, I'll use my small ink mat. Ink mat because it would eliminate that problem there. So not only does the ink mat block, one of the nice things that an ink mat, ink mat will do is if you have a ripple in your fabric or something, it actually will get rid of it. So right there, I was having a ripple and it, no matter what I did, it continued to happen because the canvas is stiff. By putting that ink mat, it eliminated that, but now I got it over there. Mm -hmm. So let's see if I can get, I might just have to do two ink mats. Because someone, you can point at me all day long. It was you. No. It was, guys. Don't listen to him. Don't listen to him and his lies. Lies, I say. Actually, this side. Yeah, I'll just do this. Yes. So Candace asked, is there any chance that rising chalk as needed into silk might cause a clog if it hardens in time? Whoa, that was a what? Say that again. <laughs> that, I, <laughs> what? Okay. So is there any chance that rising chalk as needed into a sink, sink, I said silk earlier, sorry, sink might cause a clog if it hardens in time? So do you think like the chalk could harden in this? Uh, a rise or rinsing chalk? Rinse. Sorry, are they asking if they rinse their chalk transfer yeah. or something? Um, it shouldn't. It shouldn't. I wouldn't let it. I mean, even if it did dry, all you're going to do is put water down it and it's going to dissolve again. Yeah, I, I have never heard that. And I've never heard anybody even say anything about mm -hmm. that. It shouldn't. Your water should be running long enough for it to get out, out your house. Yep. Oh, I see what they're saying. Yeah. Yeah, I understand that. it, but yeah, there's no way. Hmm. So what I'm doing right now, and I know a lot of you are going to say, oh, I never do that. I am heating my transfer a little bit just because I am doing um, buffalo plaid, and I just want to make sure everything, I don't have anything that's pulling up. And if you are using a canvas pillow like I am, mm -hmm. you can give yourself a little protection around the corners, and I just use blue painter tape for that. Now... I usually don't use blue painter tape on my silk screen or chalk transfers because it can damage them. But we're not putting the, the blue painter's tape on actual 
on the actual part of the, the screen. The part of the screen. We're just putting it on the offset. Mm -hmm. And what does this give us the ability to or Sean? This will mostly make sure that we don't bleed into a part that you don't want any ink in. So basically, hitting. yeah, there's a you can see right here there's a little edge of my you see a lot more of it here. Yeah. And I don't want to hit that. And obviously the a pillow is not going to be exact perfect than the cut of your transfer is going to be exactly 18 by 18 so that's why you always have a, a little bit more or less because the uh, imperfectness of fabric the other thing that this will do is i am taping it to our self-healing cutting mat which is going to keep this nice and secure when i'm going through and doing my ink so our last one's going to be down here so You'll often hear me say this with my paste. I'll say the same thing with my ink. The magic in this is having things take your time, prepare, because the mistakes usually are because we are rushing and we don't have things ready. So by doing this, we should have a nice finished result because we have everything down. Now, once again, Nike can't stress enough. Black can be a little tricky. So we do have Storm, we have Black. We could do both if we want. We could do a, a kind of a hot mess of the two. Um, but I'm trying to get as close to that as I can, but I don't have a ton of Black. So we're gonna do a mixture of the two. So this is why I keep um, empty ones. But you know what? I might as well just, cause I'm gonna be adding, I'm gonna go through all that Black. There we go. So you're toning the Black down? Yep. We're gonna tone the black down a little bit. If you look at the blanket itself, um, which I put over there, it's a pretty, I mean. It's black. It's black. Our couch is um, gray. a silver, gray, silver so I gray. think no matter what, it will match. It won't be right next to the blanket, so. So I'm just adding the gray and the black, and we're gonna stir it up. I don't want to get it super light, but this will give us enough to do two pillows. Cause we have two pillows we have to do too. Uh, Sharon asks, could you layer this? Uh, could you layer the whole pillow implant and um, could you layer the same if you wanted the whole pillow implant and then same on top? You could, but the thing's gonna get mixed in with yeah, the plaid. Yeah, the plaid, so. plaid is so busy, especially with the straight uh, the angled ones in there that your word would be lost in it even mm -hmm. if you did a completely different color i think you'd still lose it and then uh joanne asked what brand of scissors do you prefer or is it different depending on what product you so are if i'm cutting my transfers i'll definitely use my transfer trimmers which are the chalk couture ones because they are um what's there, the coating on it there's some kind of a teflon coating it's or a some teflon kind of coating, coating that or, which makes it really nice coating. where it when you cut it just glides mm -hmm. um i do also like cricut uh their their scissors for fabric scissors because they're really nice so those are my two go-to i know a lot of people use tim holtz uh serrated scissors those which are nice, are nice too i don't nice. use them to cut my transfers though because they are serrated yeah okay Oh, go ahead. And then Jennifer wanted me to tell you uh, thank you for answering your question earlier. Mm -hmm. Got Jennifer, it. Which Jennifer? Uh, Jennifer. Marker? Marker, yes. Mm -hmm. Hi, Jennifer. We have a couple of Jennifers that come in the room. So. All right, so I'm just going to take a little bit and dab it up in different spots. I'm not going to be dabbing it directly on any of the open spots. I'm mostly doing it, you'll see, on the blue spots. And this is because if you dab it on the open spots, you might get, you might dab it and... Get it in the... And the nice thing about ink that it it spreads so much easier and smoother than uh, your paste, so it, a little bit goes a long ways. And then Sean will have you put some more down for me. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and, okay, Oops. I gotta do this. Yeah, I can't Don't really do it. Thank you. We might only be able to do one pillow tonight because I did not realize I was this short on my black. You don't need more black, huh? No, I sold some at one of my last events, and my last one went to that. I got a call from one of my team members that says, do you have black ink? And I said, yeah, bring it now. Okay. So we'll see. I might not be able to get... Second pillow. That's okay. Well, we can always do the second pillow later.
So this is where my tape is definitely coming in handy so I don't accidentally. Okay, so we will be removing any of our excess because obviously we need this. Sean, can you move this out of the way, please? Mm -hmm. And I'll grab that. Thank you. I see it. I'm going to dab, dab it for you. There. All right. So we're going to take off our blue tape first. Check your fingers. Go ahead and... Like I said, this is Buffalo Plaid's gonna have those imperfections, which is completely fine. Don't freak out when it does leak like that. Do you wanna air dry it, Sean? I can. Thank you. Well, either can I. I usually have a backup of everything, but not this time. Mm -hmm. Does the ink dry faster than the chalk? Mm -mm. Ink takes ink will not dry until you heat set it. So once we get uh, the easy press on it, then it will be completely dry. By using a hair dryer, it just kind of gets a, a start on it because I'm using the hot setting, just enough so maybe we won't transfer as much ink to like the. Uh, um, the paper that we're going to use, the parchment paper, uh, not to say it will not, sometimes it will. It's just a start in, in the drying uh, process. The dryer, the, the heat of the hair dryer is not even close to being hot enough to heat set this in that. But uh, this will, we'll be doing ours at a 305 degrees. But we won't start that until um, he's ready to do that. And then Carol, uh, mm -hmm. Lawrence asked, when, uh, when you add it into the sections, does it not make the ink uneven? Say that one more time. Okay. So when you add to it in sections, does it not make the ink uneven? Am I saying that? Um, I don't know. What I'm, that not means. Sure which, I'm not sure what she means. Maybe I'm reading around. You want to double check? Like. Yeah, let's see where is it here. So when you add, so, it to, add it in sections, does it, does it not make the ink uneven? No. Ink is different from paste in the fact that paste almost gives it a almost like a raised up where ink does not no it'll sink right into the um, fabric itself and the only way you can do ink in layers is you have to do it in sections like this yeah so what we're going to be doing now is uh pressing this mm -hmm. uh before we can move on to our next things mm -hmm. we might have brown i might do a brown one and then we're getting a lot of questions from for example a couple people shanna and then uh, Sandra are asking about what's the difference between chalks and inks and like if you could explain mm, it in a short or sure I actually have a video on it on our YouTube difference between ink and paste so I highly recommend people to check that out but essentially the difference is what you're going to use it on so uh, well I clean this normally I'd have Sean clean and explain but he's one-handed Sean mm. um, so Sean do you want to explain the difference between the two so paste is a our chalk paste which is made in-house 
is basically a chalk material. It's a non, it's a non-hazardous or not hazard, non -toxic. non toxic. There, there's the right word. And um, it is a it's a kind of a thicker material. Ink is actually a fabric ink. Um, it, even though you can stick it on ceramics, it's still an ink that you would use the for big, fabrics. Sorry. And it's a different viscosity. It's a whole different uh, feeling. It went way complicated. So yeah, what I was going to say yeah. is paste is for basically any surface with the exception of fabric, silks, things like that. So you can put paste on chalkboards, walls, wood. You could technically put paste on canvas and stuff. But the thing about paste is it is removable. Mm -hmm. So essentially, you can rinse, take water, rinse it off for the most part, or resurface it. Ink, once we actually um, set this, which we're going to be doing next, it becomes one with the fabric. It is, yep. it's finished. So the way I always tell people is paste is going to be boards, walls, frames, glass. Ink is going to be canvas, ceramics, and just think of it, do I have to apply heat to make it permanent. Chalk, I don't. I don't need to apply heat to make it permanent. It will no. dry. Um, I have to apply Krylon if I want to make it permanent. This, we will apply ink and make it, or heat and make it permanent. Yes. I actually really do like, it's not perfect, obviously. It's got kind of more of a distressed look, but I do like it. Um, and now we're going to set it. So the way you set fabric versus ceramic is totally different. And I'll tell you guys right now, on fabric, um, Sean, can you just go on us for a little bit so mm -hmm. I can explain the difference sure on this? Can. I get this question all the time. Fabric you're going to set via some sort of iron, easy press, heat press, and you're going to follow the recommendations set forth by that company. If you're using an iron, Chocotour has instructions on how to use an iron. This is the biggest confusion people get is they'll read those instructions that Chocotour has given us and said, oh, you have to do both sides and you have to flip it and it's this long. That's an iron. Chocotour essentially will never release, this is how to use it with the Crooked Easy Press, or here's how to use it with the heat press because those are not their machines. People like us that are using it can say, this is what we've done, but it's not for sure, you know, per what Chocotour says. Now, I do fabric, I use Easy Press, I do 305, 30 seconds, and I do, be, do it by feel. Your ink will go from a gummy uh, textured to a nice smooth, and that's where you know once it's smooth, it's good. Ceramic's completely different. If you were to use a transfer on ceramic, what we do is we put our ceramic in a cold oven. We turn that up to 350. 350. We allow it to get up to 350, sit in the oven for 30 minutes at 350, and then we just turn the oven off and then let it cool down on its own. And once it's cool to the touch, it's, it's set. Mm -hmm. And we've never had an issue with that. Yep. And that includes glass. Yes. So Michael uh, Stigall asks, do you still use a cool setting with the ink? I think when you're using the... No, we do hot. not. No, no, it's hot on this. Yeah. Ink, you need to use heat. Okay, so we are going to set this. I'm going to grab um, some other tips to always keep in mind is always look at your hands. Ink is permanent. Mm -hmm. Even if you do not set ink, if I was to put this in the washing machine, some of the ink will come off, but it's already started to dye your uh, canvas. So just keep that in mind. We do use parchment paper, and the reason why is that's what it has been tested with, and it's also not going to damage it or leave a waxy residue. So we are going to just... Now, we aren't doing a final set on this, um, and the reason why is we have more layers to add. What we're essentially doing is getting it to the point where we can now add other transfers to it and not ruin it and I'll show you that here in one sec so all I'm doing is just kind of moving this around and doing my initial set when I lift this up can you move the base over here for a section because mm -hmm. I don't sure. want you holding this with your hand um, you'll notice steam comes off of it and that's what you almost want you'll also note sometimes you'll pick up ink if that's the case just turn over your wax or your parchment paper and so that way you don't get it on your rest of your pillow. This point is essential. So if you're going to add layers, if you're going to do multiple steps on your pillow, you do want to heat in between each one of them. That's my recommendation. Some people don't. They just go on in their merry way. I've done it before where I have not set it, put something else on, and it takes up the whole layer of ink. Yes, Ryan. Uh, 
Carol asked, uh, Carol Lawrence asked, if you put paste onto a painted wall, can it be removed without ghosting? Uh, it, it, it is possible. Ghost. I mean, it, it is possible, but I've had it ghost, and we just take a board eraser yeah. or a magic eraser and get it. There out. are some also some some of my uh, paste that might even stain your wall, especially mm -hmm. if you're putting on a white wall. So like red will stain it. Red black. will stain it. Black will stain it. Um, but of course, you can always repaint your wall. Yeah, that's not a big deal. I will say it's. Um, People have said, well, I don't want to put it on walls. That's why I would do vinyl. Well, I just want to let you know, and I, I like vinyl, don't get me wrong. I've had vinyl sometimes rip my drywall off. It'll, it'll rip, rip, it'll rip it off. the paint off. Or it'll rip the, the paint off stuff. So um, just know that it, it, we naturally dye our chalk ink. It's natural. That's why it, all of our stuff's non-toxic. If Ryan was to eat paste right now, it wouldn't harm him. It wouldn't taste great. But it's all naturally dyed. So... Uh, some of that stuff does, it can definitely stain it. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then, same person, Carol Lawrence asked, Sean, how is your mom uh, recovering after her knee replacement? I haven't, oh I haven't called Oh my goodness, her. good memory, Carol. Nice job, Carol. Yeah, I haven't called her yet. I all, what? I, did, I know, I need to. Sean? Well, she was probably uh, drugged up. So I don't care. You call your parents when they have surgery. Yeah, I'll call her right after this. <gasps> you guys. I think she did fine. Her doctor, her, she's got a pretty cool doctor, so, and he did well, her first knee tear. she has a cool doctor. You're her son. I know. She's, oh, in, she's in room 440. Okay. So we are now going to add back in my ink mat, and we are going to do this part. So this transfer is no longer around. Um, this is called Live Love Laundry, I think. Um, but I love it, and that's what's going to basically frame in my pillow. Mm -hmm. So we're going to um, line it up on the bottom here, and it will be, this is also where we are going to use my um, transfer tape again, because we're going to block out <clears throat> some parts where we don't want it to go through, which is right about there. And we should be able to get multiple applications of this so I don't have to heat set it, but I do have extras just in case. So I'll have those ready to go. Do you have another question, Ryan? Yes, I have a couple. Aspects. Okay. So Jessica Al Alruzzo asked, what happens if you don't heat set it and you let it dry naturally? Um, it's very possible once you put it in the wash, it'll probably come out some mm, of it. Maybe. It could. There's times where I have inked something and put it in the wash and it nothing yeah. happened. Yeah. And and then Melanie Rooker, Rooker asked, how do you heat set drinking glasses with ink? You, it's just like, uh, just exactly like doing the canvas, or not canvas, sorry, the uh, ceramics. Mm -hmm. uh, put it on, put it in a cold oven, set your oven to 350, let it sit for 30 minutes, let it turn it off, let it cool naturally, and then once it is cool to the touch, you can pull it out and it should be fine. And then Brenda Stern asked, Ken, did you know Anne, Anna Griffin is debuting a mini... Pr uh, Mini Impress. entrance tonight at 12. What? Anna Griffin is my best friend. No. <laughs> um, I may what have she doing? heard she was releasing one, but I was sworn to secrecy. So I, I until it's officially announced, I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm sure she dated it on, she does a video where she gives sneak peeks, so I'm sure she showed that. But um, what they're talking about on my other channel, Ken's Creations, we did a review of her uh, die cutting machine, electronic die cutting machine called the Impress because uh, we need a new die cutting machine because Cricut discontinued the cuddle bug. And uh, one of the things people have always said is, I wish it was just a little smaller. And so she's coming out with a small, a small one. one. Nice. All right, can you just hair dry that? I can. Um, and we're not gonna heat set this, but he's gonna hair dry that and I'm gonna go clean my two little transfers so we can do another one.
Thank you, Sean. Um, so another question I'm getting a lot more now uh, that Cricut has released a new product is how does our ink differ from infusible ink? And uh, pretty much the answer, tomorrow we will be releasing on our Ken's Creations channel our uh, infusible ink video. Um, do you want to go back up on us and I'll explain this? Sure. Because I get this question a lot every day. So our ink, essentially, if you, if you think back to the 80s when silk screening was all the rage and you go into a mall and people were silk screening, that's what our ink technically is. It is a non-toxic version of that ink where you see people put a screen on a shirt, they put ink and they pull it down and they silk screen something. That is essentially what our ink is. Infusible ink is different in the fact that it is ink that's been printed onto a piece of paper that you are infusing into a blank and you can only use it on polyester. Our ink can be used on anything. So infusible ink is vibrant, it's beautiful, it's great, but you need to make sure it's going on something that's 95% or more polyester. Yeah. So you can use less, but your your the the color may be more muted and the mm -hmm. absorption is less. Basically, scientifically, what it is is that uh, polyester is a tubular type of fabric. I love it's hollow. Science. It's hollow. So what you're basically doing is that you're heating up the ink, which makes it into steam, and then it gets sucked into the hollow part of the thing, and then it becomes part of the fabric itself. My brain hurts. I know, Ryan. What's your question? Because I'm sure that just invoked a ton of questions. <laughs> Michael, uh, Michael Stiegel asked, if you're doing a multicolored transfer, does the ink dry as fast as the chalk? It does not. Now, mm -hmm. our ink, you have a little bit more of it. I always say a little bit more. You have a pretty good amount of time to um, get that ink off. Yeah. But if you're going to do multiple, multiple colors, you're going to want to make sure you are heat setting each. Okay, we need to let him out. Each you need to do each. Uh, Sorry, guys. One each uh, each layer completely before you go on to mm -hmm. the next one. Riles is getting Toby now involved with her attempts to try to get out. Why are we barking? Toby is not supposed to bark. This is so becoming a problem. Little Miss thinks that if she gets more people on her side, that she'll be able to. So to answer your question, no, you do not, uh, or that your ink doesn't dry as quick as paste. And with ink, less is more. You don't want to put a ton on because that's where it can kind of um, seep out on you. Well, that is cold. It is winter time. It gets cold once the sun sets. Mm -hmm. So what I'm doing now is, oh, you guys can't see anything. Oh, I left it up. I left it up. Sorry. <laughs> my apologies. Sorry, guys. Um, all I'm doing is go. finishing yeah, my border thanks. here and I am using my transfer tape to block out any areas I do not want my ink to go through. So I just want to complete my border like so. I'm going to keep all that extra just like so. Now I can remove this just like so. And voila, we have it all blocked in. So I'm going to have Sean. Um, Hair dry it or yep. am I going to heat set it? You're gonna, we're gonna heat set it actually. Okay, so before heat setting, of course, I do not want to have my mat in there because if not, it's going to melt this thing right into the fabric and that wouldn't be fun at all. Always make sure not to pull too hard because sometimes you can get these to crumple up on you and you might get ink where you don't want ink. Of course, got to have your mat underneath. So some people are asking, are you in pain when you have that on? I just had no. a couple of people ask it. No, no pain. It uh, itches like an SOB. You know, oh. we, I just a lot of people asking in general basically mm -hmm. about it. I know we talked about it a little bit earlier, but... I am in no pain. The, the doctor even asked me, what is your uh, pain rating? I said one and zero. Do, this does not hurt. Depends on if I do something really weird, it might hurt, but it only hurts for a moment. The break is, was so clean and it wasn't all the way through. I'm only wearing this for three weeks. They'll cut it off, take some uh, x-rays, and then they will uh, put me in a Velcro splint for three more weeks after that. So it's still a six-week process, just not the hard cast because they still want me to, after three weeks, actually start 
moving it around and stuff like that. And this way, you obviously can't do that when you have a cast in. This is just to get to the point where the bone is um, all done up. I'd love to show you a picture, but it's on my phone, and my phone's being well, used as a camera. Got a new, uh, I got a I got a much better picture of my break, and it yeah, you can really see it. All right, so we're gonna grab our blessed. I even let this dry because you guys remember we had to. We inked over it because we blocked it out. Mm -hmm. And now it should fit perfectly in that square. Let's make sure of that. I already have my ink mat in, so I'm just going to make sure that this is down good. And this should fit perfectly right in between everything. Perfect. Can you take care of uh, the bone? I'm so sorry. I thought I grabbed them all. Yeah. Sorry, Toby. You hate me. You're not going to be happy boy. All right. So the last part is we just need to grab what little black I have left and finish this part. Yeah, I've heard of wire hangers and stuff. I have, I'll probably put more of a... It's just right here. It's because I've got hairy arms is why it's itching. And it's just right here. Just right here. So I can just use like a, a chopstick to go in there. Because they typically do not uh, splinter. Voila! Uh-oh! Oh, my D did not get all the way across. All the way, so no big deal. We're gonna. Um, I'm gonna have Sean just heat that really quick, and I'm just going to uh, finish up my D. Yeah, we'll just dry this up, put it, replace it right over there, and just do that one little section. Wash and dry the transfer real quick, and we'll be good to go. Natasha. Hi, Natasha. Yeah, Solier said I've got a sling from a weighted blanket injury. No you, way. Say, I that, I asked how, say like, that again. That's a heavy weighted blanket then. <laughs> I a spra how, oh, a sprain? No, a uh, just a. I've got a sling from a weighted blanket injury. That's all that was said. Oh, you're replacing a sling. Oh, you're replacing a sling because yeah, of weight. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. I'm going to set His weighted blanket is 25 pounds. You know, 25 pounds for most people should not be a really big deal, but holy manoli, that thing is heavy. Take this um, So the reason, you guys, this didn't um, go through was because uh, oh. with ink... Oh, I didn't... Oh, I mean... Yeah, I was going to say he didn't yeah, take it out. I did, literally, yeah. that's what people... I was oh, like, oh, it's good to be out. Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. It's good. I, did, I barely had it on there. Yeah, thank you, Debbie. Right thank as you, I was Debbie. Say so I know, right? Right? <laughs> okay. So. Yeah, it's still good. Still good. Okay. So, oh. am I ready to talk? Yeah, sorry. Thank you. So, um, the reason this D did not go through is ink needs to be what I say pushed through. So, um, sometimes on ink, I find myself not pushing far enough uh, or hard enough because I'm so afraid, like I'm going to get it to leak or something like that. But you can see on the D, I didn't barely push it at all. So. That is totally on me, but it's a very easy fix. We're just going to reline up everything once our transfer is dry again. Do they find another bone? Yes, How there's like a I whole bowl of them. No, I, oh. put them. I put it up. Oh, they may have found one somewhere else. <laughs> You're taking it from a dog that's literally on his last legs. And she's, she's pushing some bowls around. You want me to pick these up? Yeah, oh, they're, hun they're hungry. They're... They didn't. I don't think I didn't feed them this morning because I. Left. Why would you feed our dogs? Uh, first of all, trying to get back there was a pain. So you just there. aren't going to feed them? No, they they're... can fend for themselves. That's they're, going, they're, going watch that. they're going to uh, eat tonight. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I, I didn't like feed him. <laughs> I didn't feel yeah. like it. <laughs> all right, we're going to do our final press on this, and we will be done. Nice and easy. That is that. I was going to do two pillows, but I'm going to wait to order some more black ink to come in because I want two pillows that match. I really like this distressed look a lot. Oh, yeah, I love them. Do you not have a weighted blanket? No. Oh, I love my weighted blanket. See, but I just don't want, I, sometimes it gets too hot, so I'm not sure if it'll, like, mm. 
It's awesomeness. Yeah, see, when he sleeps, he's got like three blanks on, on him where I have, you have your weighted blanket and then a doubled up um, down comforter mm -hmm. where I have this very thin, very soft I blanket like, that's doubled sounds, and it's almost too it much. It sounds weird. I like a lot of blankets on me, but I want it to be cold in the room. Yes. So I all, just yeah, yeah. like right. I like it. It is. It's like nice and chilly, but yet you're under nice blankets. Yes. And and then Tasha said, uh, from she got herself in a sling from pulling and turning the same action several times at night. The oh, muscle on the outside of my arm sense. is shot. That oh makes wow! Sense. Yikes! So um, I will say, make sure you guys are changing out your parchment paper. You don't want to use it more than I'd say three, four max, because it will. Um, affect the way it starts to get a ripple or a wrinkle in it. So parchment paper is pretty cheap. So I would say just make sure you're, I always flip it around like this, just like that. Um, because it should just glide right over the parchment paper. Yes. Mm -hmm. What? What? Oh, I said, I said, oh. mm, like, cause it smells like pretzels cause of that. Oh, I thought Sean was tapping me, but it was mixed. No, nope, it's a little mess. mess. <laughs> yes. What can I do for and you? Then, um, my guess. Uh, right. Kim Smith Burleson asked, what's the purpose of a weighted blanket? Sean can answer that. Um, you'll find that some uh, that weighted blankets were first really used for kids that are, um, that have some kind of, um, what's the word I'm thinking of? Um, it's mostly, the, it's an anxiety, anxiety or they have autism, autism or something. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking and of. essentially it's supposed to give you the feeling of comfort because people Being like hugged. to be wrapped. So like when you get a hug or some people like to, you know, put a heavy blanket on them, they feel secure. They feel that security. Mm -hmm. um, I can tell you, I sleep way better with my heavy blanket. Um, I... It, it 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 might be a placebo effect. I feel calmer with it. My anxiety goes down with it. It just gives you a sense of security. Mm -hmm. And they've done many science on it to show that, you know, if it, you get the you have to get the right weight, which it's supposed to be ten percent of your weight. So you know, I should have a, about a twenty pound blanket right now, and mine's twenty five, so it's a little heavy. Um, the only thing I don't like about weighted blankets is they're weighted. So if you don't have them tied just right, all of the, if it's a cheap one, it should be where there are little squares and they're yep. sewn in with the sand. Mm -hmm. But if it's you get a cheap beads, one, actually. the glass beads will start falling out of those little squares and then all of it goes to one end and you have to like, it's yeah. a pain. So spend extra money to get the nicer ones. Yeah, they are worth it. People have seen sensory issues as well. It sensory, is, yeah. It is a sensory issue. When I worked with a lot of my OT, uh, OTs with kids, um, a lot of them had to uh, prescribe weighted blankets for them. Um, or they also have them wearing uh, a two-piece, um, very tight-feeling uh, uh, workout, oh, like spandex. Yeah. Um, both like, uh, uh, upper uh, and bottom, like Spanx. Yeah. For kids while they're working out because of that feeling of being secure and that it's amazing how much it is, they change when they're wearing people those. People love it or they don't love it. Sean's not big on the weighted blanket. Yeah, too hot. Three people have come over to my house and they're like, what blanket is this? And I see it's a weighted blanket and they left literally buying one. Like they went on Amazon while using my blanket and they have it now mm -hmm. in their house. They love it. Yep. All right. So here we are. Now, how do I know this is done? So when I take my hand across it, it's nice and smooth. There's no roughness. If this wasn't done, you would almost feel kind of a gummy. Like you put tacky. your hand down and be tacky and gummy. But this is now inside mm -hmm. of the pillow. I love it. Look at that blessed. Let me grab the other blessed and we can do a side by side before mm -hmm. we end. Blessed. Yeah. Unfortunately, like I said, I ran out of black ink or I would do Another my one. other one and it's going to say thankful, but look. Yeah. Not perfect, but yeah. I, I think, think the most thing is that well. you're, you're, um, your uh, uh, buffalo plaid was, has been used so much and it wasn't the greatest sticky one when we got it. So, Oh, my buffalo that's, plaid, I've used that one probably oh, 15 it's, it's times now. it's crazy times. So because we used to do all my boards on uh, with the vintage truck. So I probably last year used that buffalo plaid 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12 times last year. And this year I've already used it four times. So I, yeah. I probably have used that transfer 16 to 20 times. If it was a brand new transfer out of the bag, it wouldn't have done this. Um, I like this look. I like the vintage to have this kind of vintagey charm to it. But if it's not for you, I get it. Um, let me just double check that I don't have extra ink. I thought I 
I do not. That's super sad. I really don't have any extra ink, do I? Nope. Okay, well, I'll have to order. All right, so I do have the pillow insert. Let's see what it looks like on. With an actual pillow in it. Shaking. Sorry, I'm, I'm gonna, this might have been shaking. He's like shaking his butt on it. Oh, Han, Han. likes his butt rubbed right yes, now. Yes, he does. He, he has issues. Stop. Han, do you need a weighted blanket? He keeps on like hitting this with his butt. So this Han, insert I just got at Ikea because they sell pillowcases for a pretty reasonable price. Yeah. And so we always buy the pillows to go with it. You can polyfill it. You could find a pillowcase Final. for it. There's, um, some, there's some websites that sell just pillow the inserts, inserts all different sizes so if you're looking for a an, an insert a pillow that's really weird weird size they make them for all kinds of sizes well and i mean i've pretty much found any pillow like you can fold the pillow in here like tons of stuff so mm -hmm. we're gonna zip this shut hopefully not get the tags because that's what the zipper will get caught up on thanks shawnee watch your fingers mm -hmm. There you go. Look at that. That looks good. I love it. Yeah. See, Sean doesn't love it because he would have said, love it. he would have said, man, that looks so good. You could buy it in Michael's. And he's you like, could. that looks so good at kindergarten. No, I'm just no, kidding. Stop so <laughs> I will say like a lot of people will say, oh, I don't like the bleeding. If the bleeding is not your, I shouldn't say bleeding, but it, that's what it does. Yeah. The way to avoid that from happening is to not use as much ink. So what ends up happening for bleeding is if you have a transfer that's not 100% sticky because you've used it so much and you're putting a lot of ink in, when you pull it down, it's pushing it through your transfer and then down. And that's why you'll see most of the bleeding is going down because I went. So if you don't like that, use less ink and a new transfer. If you do like that, it's We're perfect. Frozen? Oh, it's just jumpy. Jumpy. All right, you need to back up on this one. Yeah, sure. Uh, so I got a, a questions and some things that people are telling me. So Natasha, oh, me, Natasha said there's weighted dog vests now. Mm -hmm. There is. There is. That's crazy. Yep. And yeah. then, um, and then they're asking, did you, uh, Carol and Melanie asked, did you get, like, can you say where you got this case from? Uh, this is the chocolate tour. tour. Oh, okay. it's a chocolate tour pillow case. Yeah. So. Yeah, you get, uh, two, you get two two in a package. And I have my other one. I just don't have my ink. Yeah. So we'll wait till my black ink comes in and we'll have to read we'll it. it. We'll do another one. Yeah. All right, guys. So that is today. We will be back tomorrow. We are doing the Christmas countdown. Not the actual countdown, but the one with ornament and um, chocolate chips that will have magnets in it. I'm really excited. Um, so we'll be live tomorrow. We actually have two lives tomorrow. We have the one on this channel, which will be that countdown. It will probably be earlier in the day. And then in uh, tomorrow night around this 5.30 time slot, uh, we'll be doing Ken's Creations Live, which is showing a new product line that was sent to me. So uh, two lives you can catch us on. And also don't forget, between now and tomorrow, my infusible ink video will be debuting on our Ken's Creations channel. Or, yeah, the Ken's Creations channel. So... Any other questions? Good. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining and quick, easy project. We'll see you guys all tomorrow. Bye, Bye. everyone.